Welcome back everybody, this is Josh here with Basement Level Magic and we are headed into the finals here and look at this, we're taking on another guy named Josh. I'm assuming so, otherwise that's a really weird name. Uh, let's go ahead and be on the play. Uh, sure. We've got all our colors of mana. Um, I'd love to have a 06 Defender on turn 2. But for now, we'll take this. In the previous matchups, it seems like we've had probably the stronger late game deck. And I think it'd be hard for somebody to be a lot better late game against us. Um, our deck almost is playing out more like a like a sealed deck where it's you know real slow. You play play all your good cards, even though it's not a ton of really good cards. You know. That's just how it goes. Looks like our opponent is not here yet, so I'll go ahead and start this up once he gets here. Alright, our opponent is here, and we will start out with the planes. <clears throat> Looks like white was the right color this draft. I'm just going to go ahead and play it. I'm okay with playing my colors. I don't mind. Alright, so he's white-blue as well. Alright, we have drawn enough lands. We don't need to do any more. We actually don't have any cards that cost more than 7 mana in the deck, so hopefully we don't get more. Um, I am just going to take that. Ooh, Sky Spawner. I wonder we didn't see any. Alright, so he's off to a fast start. I will definitely trade my Shadow Glider with his Sky Spawner if he offers it. Benthic Infiltrator. We didn't see a single one of those. Oh my god, come on, stop lands. Yeah, you'll notice if you look at our deck list, we have basically nothing for ingesting. <laughs> Which is one reason why I didn't really prioritize getting any Eldrazi processors. I need to not draw land. I really do. Oh, yeah, there was not a land. That would have been nice. Okay, that's decent. I'll stop whining. Um, so the Nightwatch can just hold down the ground. I think I'm going to not attack here. Sure, he's got some funky blue tricks up his sleeve. Oh, good. There went another land. We did not need that one. Kozlux Channeler. It's a pain in the butt, but that clutch of currents is going to be important. So we could just go ahead and
What do we want a clutch of currents? The benthic infiltrator or the Kozlux channeler? The infiltrator is not doing a ton, but it is annoying. Yeah, I think I'm going to clutch of currents the channeler. Then I can attack in with both my guys. Could attack with the planes actually. I mean, he attacks back for five, but I'd be attacking for seven, ten. Let's just do this for now. Probably the pl replay the Kozlux channeler, I think. Trying to decide if I attack with the Night Watch here. Probably just attack with the Sentinel. I mean, it puts us ahead in the race, I guess. I'd love to see Bane of Balaged, Clutch of Currents, Coastal Discovery. Elmar Tidecaller. Got a lot of good cards that we could be drawn here. And now he is going to be able to start activating his Coral Helm Guide. You know, going back to that turn, what was it, turn three or turn four, um, when I took out the Sky Spawner instead of Coral Helm Guide, I, I maybe should have done the guide. But I also didn't want to have him just constantly pick away with the Sky Spawner and the Infiltrator because we didn't have the Sentinel at the time. My opponent apparently did not realize that the Skyline Cascade does not tap a creature before it says that it cannot untap. That is something that I I definitely thought that it did back when I first started playing this format. If that were the case, I think people would play a lot more Skyline Cascades. Yeah, so we've definitely got some really good draws. We just need to hit them. All right, so big card coming. He's got six mana tapped. Royal Spout, yuck. Don't Yeah, I don't think that I want to block. 
And then he ingests a night watch. That's that's tricky. Oh, come on. Wow, this is just I mean, this is just a flood. Not much you can do about it. He's almost got the win in hand if he's got anything here. Those two four fours are real tough on me. About the best thing possible for us would be what a Halimar tide collar, get back clutch of currents, throw something back into his hand, create another blocker. This planes is definitely gonna go away. Cause right now I could I could end up taking seven damage. I'd block the incubator drone and the Kozilek's channeler or the planes with my planes. Oh, but he's got Oh, lifelink. Not good. Yeah, not good at all. Ooh, all right, so... I mean, I could double block, kill one of his lands. He takes out my sentinel. Because now with him gaining life, I'm pretty, I think it's near impossible that I win here. And if we draw another land, oh come on now, really? I actually got a card that was decent. Alright, so let's go to the sideboard. He's blue. Lots of good, lots of good blue stuff. And I forgot. Yeah, we don't have much in our sideboard. So... Smite the monster will be good versus him. Alright, that was basically the, the check. Smite the monsters versus grave birthing. <laughs> What's better? Uh, yep, not much more to do. This deck built itself, you know. Just randomly picking colors and, and it came together. Oh, this is this is slow as heck, but wow, this I mean it's strong cards. Definitely not one of the faster hands we could have. I was going to say, give me an 06. Alright, good. So he's he's starting out pretty slow, too. At least we've got our mana online, I guess. Our anticipate. Yeah, he ended up in a blue-white Awaken Flyers deck, whereas I ended up with blue-white-black stuff. I actually, I mean, if you look at my hand right now, it looks pretty decent, though. It's just the way that we got there was crazy. Yep. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead... You know what stinks is I don't even think I can draw cards. If I do draw cards, I... Oh, no, I don't have to discard. Okay, let's go ahead and do this Coastal Discovery. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Alright, so he 
he's going wide. Yep. And Gideon's your approach isn't too bad. I'm gonna go ahead and do the night watch here. I mean, otherwise, a uh, clutch of currents doesn't do anything too exciting against a scion token. Whereas at least the night watch is gonna be the biggest thing on the board. <laughs> All right, so what could we do? We could play something like our ghostly sentinel and clutch of currents his planes. Or a clutch of currents and demons grasp something. I think getting the ghostly sentinel out there is more important. Might just be a little slow here. This next turn we'll be able to hold up. We'll be able to do two spells in one turn, which is going to be important. Probably do the Night Watch and then hold up Reproach. Benthic Infiltrator. Serene Steward, that's an odd card in this deck. Alright, so here, I could do a lot of stuff. So first off, I'm going to start by attacking. That I know I'm going to do. So you can put a 1-1 one, one counter on target creature. Alright, so then I think I just hold up the Gideon's Reproach. Using this, hopefully, on the Infiltrator. Because I can block the rest of his stuff decently. Here. So he's got some. <laughs> Ooh, geez. Look at him go wide. Alright, so here the question is I mean, I can go wide too now. Because I can do Clutch of Currents. I'm not going to be able to do it with the Awakening. But after I do a Noyandar. It's basically like doing an awakening. What card do I put back in hand? Probably a scion. Scion doesn't seem very exciting though. But it helps us so he doesn't go wide. We don't want to do it with any of his um, Scion creators, like the drones or the Sky Spawner. So that basically leaves us the Serene Steward, the Core Cascader, or the Scion tokens. 
I think it's got to be the Scion tokens. It sounds crazy. Although he's at one card in hand. I can just attack in for three. He attacks back. We've got favorable blocks on most things. And then we can end up doing Clutch of Currents, getting us two creatures next turn. Uh, this is a risk. I'm going to go for it, though. Um, I'm going to hold off doing the Clutch of Currents. Just because if he, if he tries attacking into us, unless he's got the plus two, plus one instant, we're going to be in a favorable spot. I mean, he'll be able to, he'll do some damage for sure. You don't see a lot of people play the, yeah, you don't see that plus two, plus one instant um, in blue, white very often. Meaning next to never. There's that smite, to mon <laughs> smite the monstrous with nothing to target. All right, so I don't even know if I want a clutch of currents now. I think it's still a decent option. <laughs> yeah, so I'm going to get rid of at least getting rid of a Scion token, they're gone for good. So we could make a 6-6, six, six, or we can make... I think making a second 3-3 three, three is what I want to do. Because now, even if he goes wide, we go wide with him. And at this point, Noyandar should just start taking over this game, hopefully. I mean, we've got to remember, he's playing blue, so he'll have ways of putting stuff back in our hand as well. But we also have ways of getting these Awaken cards back. We've got an instant and a sorcery in our hand right now, which will work great with this. And even if he plays some big monster, we've got Smite the Monstrous to, to deal with it. There's not a lot of good attacks for him here. Oh, that's a good card. So right here, I think using Demon's Grasp on... The thing is, I'm just not really excited about using it against pretty much anything. I guess the card that can get the most out of hand is Serene Steward. So that should be the card I go after. The only thing is, I haven't seen any life gain out of him yet, which, if that's the case, Core Cascader doesn't seem like a great option, though, either. I'm going to go ahead and do it um, on the Serene Steward. And then I'm going to... I think it's time to start getting a big guy here. And if he wants to start blocking it, that's fine. Because we're going to take out a lot of stuff with it. Yeah, because right now we're just, we're going to go way over the top of him. 
All right, so there we go. That's the end. Yeah, this deck is really playing out like a sealed pool where, you know, if I get to five lands, you better watch out. I'm, I'm going to be in a good spot. All right, so that time Smite the Monsters looked pretty crappy. We could go ahead and do the Grave Birthing. I don't know. I don't know if that gets us in a better spot, though. I think Smite the Monstrous is still is still better for us. All right, so final round here. I'd like to thank everybody for watching, by the way. It, especially if you've made it all the way through this after I was talking so much trash about it in the draft in round one. But we are in the finals. And... You know, we've got our friend, the Fortified Rampart. Unfortunately, he'll probably have a Eldrazi Sky Spawner on turn three, which is a pain. Oh, Blighted Cataract, that card actually said, hey, I told you, I told you, I knew it was gonna be there. So we don't have much we can do here. Um, we could do Clutch of Currents, but I think that seems like a waste. Also, I'll probably just Gideon's Reproach the Sky Spawner. Yeah, we've got a we've got a pretty pretty decent hand here. So now we have, we're going to have a 04 and a 01, or 06 I mean. I feel like I never prioritize anticipate enough and I basically only ever get it in my blue decks if I if I take it like in the last five picks of the pack, probably. So as you can tell, I don't have Anticipate in this deck. This next turn, if I can do Noyandar and have him stick, it's going to be huge. Ooh, that coastal, ah, coastal discovery is good. No attacks. I feel like unless he's got an answer for this, and he probably does. Okay, bummer. All right, but we still have two awakened cards in hand, which are very good. And he's... we've got great blockers. Oh, Smite the Monstrous, there you go. Um, I could do Clutch of Currents, but... I don't really see a point in doing it on an Eldrazi Scion. So I'm gonna start attacking now. I have the Rampart to block the Serene Steward. Taking one damage from Scion is not a big deal for me. He is going to be able to sacrifice this to draw some cards real soon here, though. Yeah, so he could sacrifice it, but I'm sure if he does, he'll do it on our turn.
Once again, like most games that I play, I would actually be okay with getting a land here. Ooh, okay. So... It's gonna get lifelink and make some 1-1s, one or make some counters. We won't take the damage. Yes, put all the counters on the island, please. Put them all on there. Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. <laughs> oh, this clutch of currents is gonna be great. Should I feel bad that I'm doing this? I don't quite know. Ooh. Oops. Yep. Oh, that felt good. Oh, that felt real good. By the way, Fortify Rampart, awesome card. On to Great Horn. Cool. Um, here, what do we want to do? Probably do the Coastal Discovery. The only question is whether we. I mean, I don't really want to get busted like we did to him there. So I think I'm just going to put it on a different card. Probably the Swamp. And we draw a bunch of lands. That's cool. Not a big rush to attack right now. We're in a pretty good position. We've got Bane coming. I would love it if he attacked here. No attack. All right, so probably just attack with the silent skimmer, play the bane of Balagad. I think he'll sacrifice his Blighted Cataract in response. Or at the end of our turn, maybe. Yeah, so he's drawing cards. Oh, ex oh my lord, really? Shoot. Well, at least we kept him from uh, drawing cards, I guess. <laughs> Dang. I mean, we're still in a good spot, but that was a pain in the butt. Ooh, tap the island. Ah, so he did it right. So the thing is with this nah he doesn't get landfall with it okay so I think we'll just go ahead and I could probably attack him with that 4-4 four four just fine oh 
I mean, he could double block. That's actually not a great idea. All right, so we're gonna be attacking for four through the air. And then this will draw us a card. We get a one one, AKA blocker. Not a fast deck. I never said it was. I do wish I would have ended up with maybe just one more decent finisher. I mean, we had Noyandar and Bane of Balagad. Those are pretty much our best finishers. Don't get me wrong. This deck has performed really well. I mean, maybe this was just a weird pool. Uh, clutch of Currents, probably. Give me back my Courier Griffin. Oh, Kozlik's Challenge. That I can... That I'm okay with. Come on. All the lands in the world. So I could attack with the 4-4. The only problem is if he blocks with both of these, I don't even care which one it takes out. So I think it does better for us just to attack through the air. It's not a fast way to a win, but I think it's our most likely way to a win. So I wonder, is Andu Rising the only way that he had to activate the Serene Steward? I think that's all I've seen so far. Ooh, Demon's Grasp. I don't really know what even... I don't even think that's going to change much of anything. I think we just keep attacking through the air. I mean, I can take out the Kozilek's Channeler just because it's his biggest card. But it doesn't really change much of what's going on here. So I'm really tempted to just hold on to the Demon's Grasp. You know, say he plays something that's more difficult for us to deal with, like a flyer. Or that. That guy's good. I've heard he's really good. Uh, that is a way to activate your Serene Steward, by the way. So, a way to get around this. I need to kill the Sovereign. How can I? I think I attack with both lands. Then he blocks with the Sovereign because he wants to activate... Oh, I have to attack with at least the Swamp, right? Oh, this Demon's Grass sucks right now. If 
fact that it's not at instant speed really matters. He has to know that I'm trying to bait him, but he also doesn't want to go down to one life, I'm sure. Yeah, that's a bummer. So I think I have to get rid of the Serene Steward, probably. I feel like that's probably the most worrisome card. you pair that with the Sovereign and he's just going to get out of hand. Yeah, because he's just going to be able to put counters everywhere. Definitely hoping to get an Awaken card here. Didn't I get that Halmar Tide Caller? Have I? I don't think I've drawn him yet. Pretty sure this was the draft where I got that. I could really use it now. This has been a really good finals match. We're actually both, I mean, we're playing at the same pace. We are right now at the exact same amount of time left. Blue-white kind of plays this way. Long, grindy, but both... But they're very good. Blue-white decks are really good. I, I think it's probably been my favorite uh, format. Or deck choice, I guess. Uh-oh. Watch of Currents of Scion. No blocks. Actually, why not? Doesn't really hurt to block. That card is good. He keeps, he keeps getting stuff. Ugin's insight. Holy cows. That's a lot of scry action. <laughs> Jeez, I'm jealous. So he's going to get to scry six. Let's see what he does. Bottom, bottom. Four more to go. Bottom. Three more to go. Bottom. Keep bottoming. Alright, he did put two cards on top. Draw three cards. He's got three mana to do stuff with. Four mana. Five if you count the Scion. Oh no. What's he doing? Gaining some life. It's a flyer. Bummer. Ooh, I got a flyer. Alright. So we'll attack him with all the flyers. He can block the griffin. Still take three. More flyers. 
I can feel it. I can feel it. Can you feel it? Come on, come on. I mean, he's got nine, ten lands, 11, 12 with Kozilek's Channeler. Oh, come on. He got another flyer. <laughs> that Coral Helm guide is going to be a pain. Okay, so take me down to 14. He goes up to 6. Tightening coils. That is a good draw. Because he cannot gain life at that point. I don't think I even need to do the tightening coils yet. Unfortunately, he's going to be able to have a few live if I do it this way, so... Yeah, there's not a huge need to do the shadow glider right now. We do have tightening coils for the Felidar. Sovereign, which is going to be huge. Because if he doesn't have a way to gain life, I don't know how he can make this last. Okay, that makes sense. baby. This is it. He's, he's got to have two blockers in the air. Or a removal and... Oh no, what? This can't still be going, can it? I need to save time, so I just hit the yield till end. So he's under a minute 40 right now. I'm at 236. But, I mean, this game is... It's on the verge. It's on the verge of over. Yeah, boy! Alright, guys. Thanks for watching. This is Josh here with Basement Level Magic. And we won! You know, this deck that I was talking all this trash about, I think it's just, it was a weird draft, so nothing really was going crazy. <laughs> My gosh, there she is, finally. That Tide Collar would have been huge for us. Um, yeah, we would have been doing really good. We still did good anyway. All right, thanks guys for watching. This is Josh here with Basement Level Magic. Please hit that like and subscribe button. We really do appreciate it. We'll see you next time.